Hello, everyone, and welcome to Living in Cedar Park, Texas. I'm Dan Forbes, broker at Forbes Realty, and I want to give you a behind the scenes look today of how I search for properties in the multiple listing service when I'm working with a buyer. And let me say, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you want to know everything there is to know about living, working and playing in Cedar Park or Leander, Texas, you have come to the right place. And I do hope uh, that before you leave the channel today that you'll do me a tremendous favor, hit the bell so that you will be notified when new videos is posted immediately after subscribing, and then also smash that like button. But let's get into today's video right now. I thought it might be interesting just to give you a sort of behind the scenes look at how I actually search for properties in the multiple listing service. So let's get into that. First of all, let me minimize the camera right now. Okay, what you're seeing is the screen that I see when I've logged into the multiple listing service and I have selected up here in the upper left, all of the active listings. So Obviously, I want to search for active listings for buyers with whom I'm working. And you'll notice down in the bottom left hand corner, I'm not sure if you can see this, there are 3,658 listings. So that would be too many listings uh, to go out and take a look at. So let's see if we can narrow this down a little bit. So let's imagine that this buyer is only wanting to live in Cedar Park. So I'll go to City and i start typing in cedar park and there's the drop down list now we're looking at all the active listings in cedar park the number has changed to 85 active listings but you know let's add some other parameters let's imagine that this buyer is looking for a home price somewhere between 400 and 500 thousand dollars well now we're down to 21 listings Let's also imagine that this buyer is only interested in looking at two-story homes. Now we've dropped down to 14 listings. Now I wanna say that there's a lot of parameters that I can use when searching for a home besides the price and the city and whether it's one story or two-story because a buyer might be interested in a home that all the bedrooms are upstairs, for example, or maybe only the master downstairs. They might be looking for a fenced backyard. Whatever it is they're looking for, I can put these parameters into the multiple listing service. Now let's imagine that this buyer is going to be taking a job at the uh, Cedar Park Regional Medical Center, and they want to be sure that they are no more than 15 minutes away drive time during the peak traffic time of, let's say, 8.30 in the morning. Let me show you how I do that. So as we uh, saw a moment ago, we are down to 14 listings, but let's change that by adding in some drive time. So I can actually go to a map feature and you can see where these homes are located in Cedar Park right now. But I can go to this icon that is uh, drive time. So I can put in the address of the medical center. I actually had that in my drop down already, 1401 Medical Parkway and say that I want to search for homes that are within 15 minutes of the medical center at 8.30 in the morning. And these are all drop downs, so I can change the times or do whatever. Let me click add. Let me move myself out of the way here a little bit. And now you'll see the map. Uh, and you'll notice that we have gone from uh, 14 listings to actually 12 listings. Can zoom in a little bit here and then go to uh, the results. So two of the other listings were not within uh, 15 minutes. So we can see the, this uh, single line screen right now where we see the uh, MLS number, the address of the property, how many bedrooms, how many baths, how many half baths, how many garages, levels. Well, these are all two-story homes. That's what we put into our criteria. The year built, the size of the lot as expressed in acreages, uh, the square footage of the home and the list price of the home. Now I can take a, a look at all of these uh, properties in more detail if I wanted to by clicking on uh, different types of reports. So this one is the agent full report and you'll notice it has the uh, primary photo of the home listed here. And obviously, you know, 
I want to look through the photos. So looking through the photos uh, of this home, I actually know where this home is listed just by looking at the architectural style. It's in a subdivision called Town Center, uh, which is very near to the uh, medical center. There are 39 listings posted with this particular listing. Uh, we can put up to 40 listings all together in the multiple listing service. All right, let me just minimize that. Let me show you something else I'll be looking for when I am in this particular view. Uh, one is I want to look at the private remarks. Private remarks says that they have received uh, multiple offers on this property. So I'd want to know that if I was planning on showing this property to a buyer today. Uh, the other section I want to see is the public remarks because this section is what buyers see. If you go to realtor.com or if you go to zillow.com, uh, this is exactly what you're going to be seeing, the description from uh, the multiple listing service. So as you can see, the multiple listing service is a very, very powerful tool that I use to help buyers. Now that my next step would be to email these listings to the buyer with whom I'm working. And if there wasn't a home there that, uh, that they were really interested in, I could set up an auto search through our multiple listing service so that anytime a new listing comes on the market, it automatically sends them an email. And that's a powerful tool. I can set that so it sends an email to them immediately when the listing is turned active or if they prefer to get an email once a day or perhaps in the morning and in the evening or once a week, whatever they want, that's what I can provide for them. And that is a very, very powerful tool. Lastly, let me show you where I do most of my business in helping people buy homes or sell homes here in the Austin area. So we're looking at the map. You can see that Austin is here. We were just doing a search in Cedar Park, which is right here. And then north of Cedar Park is Leander, Liberty Hill, and then also directly north of Austin is Georgetown, Round Rock, and Pflugerville. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So there's the name Cedar Park that you'll see. So Cedar Park is about 20 minutes, 22 minutes north of downtown Austin. Add about another 10 minutes uh, to go up to Leander and maybe another five minutes to go up to Liberty Hill. So whether uh, you might be looking for a home in Austin, anywhere in Austin, could be South Austin or the areas in which I work, mostly North Austin, these cities, I'm happy to help. So I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how I do a search in the multiple listing service. And if you at all are thinking of moving or relocating to Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Austin, Georgetown, look, you've got to do something. Look down in the description below and you'll see how that you can call me, text me, email, or actually send a carrier pigeon if you want to. But remember always, I've got your back. So I hope that you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look of how I do a search in the multiple listing service. And I tell you what, you know, I get calls and texts and emails almost every single day from people that are relocating or moving here to the Austin area. And I absolutely love it. So if that's you, and if you're thinking about moving to Austin, Cedar Park, Leander, Liberty Hill, Pflugerville, Round Rock, Georgetown, you've got to do something. Look down in the description below and you'll see how that you can call me, text me, send me an email or heck, I don't care. You know, send me a carrier pigeon. I'm happy to help. And remember always, I've got your back. Right now, you're beginning to see some other videos pop up on my channel. So if you want to know everything there is to know about what it's like to live here, work here and play here, you know, explore my channel. Take a look at those videos and then give me a call. Thanks.